We'll begin with a big tax break for District Detroit. Millions in tax incentives approved today by the Detroit City Council. Good evening. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. We thank you for joining us this afternoon at 5. The 10-year project resulting in more than $60 million in tax breaks. The money going to help cover costs of new construction at several downtown sites along Woodward, including converting office space in the Fox Theater into a new hotel. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette looking into how exactly that money will be spent and who's making sure developers will keep their promises. Detroiters tell us they are excited about more development here at the District Detroit, including a new hotel at the Fox Theater. But at the same time, they say major tax breaks have to come with accountability. I think it's a good idea. It's revitalizing Detroit. We want money here, so that's one way to do it. On the streets of Detroit, Ebony Jones is weighing in on a major tax break for the Illich organization and developer Stephen Ross. Included in the deal, properties located at 2200 Woodward, 2211 Woodward, 2250 Woodward, 2300 Woodward, and next to the one and only LCA at 2455 Woodward, where another hotel is planned. It's all part of the District Detroit, with new tax incentives approved by council Council, totaling more than 60 million over a decade. What sort of accountability should come with giving those millions of dollars? Um, definitely need to resolve the blight over there. A lot of jobs. I know guys right now have been employed in that area. The city will still collect close to 80 million in taxes from the sites, promising to bring jobs and economic growth. Yet critics expressing concern over delays to improving blight, like these buildings we visited today. Following the vote, I asked members of council how various mixed-use sites at the Fox, near Comerica, and LCA will be monitored to ensure promises aren't broken. Looking back on the history of the District of Detroit and some of the promises that they didn't keep, yeah. How did that factor into this decision making, holding them accountable? The biggest room in the world is the room for improvement, and there is some there there. I think with this issue, one, he's bringing in Ross, who has a history of building affordable housing. What are the benefits to Detroiters? Number one, jobs. Um, it's all about the jobs for Detroiters. They've made a commitment to make sure that there's 51% Detroiters getting those jobs and then affordable housing. Council telling us more hotels being built to meet demands of more events is a selling point, along with the reputation of billionaire Stephen Ross. If they don't get this right, they're not going to get the incentives. Expected to be done by October 26th, the projects are part of a total nearly $800 million in city and state tax incentives. Some Detroiters say the money does help the city drive its resurgence, but they hope neighborhoods also get this type of support along with a promise of jobs. Dishwashers, busters, you name it. Council's approval took place today without any additional discussion. We've learned that construction is expected to start in April 2025. From downtown Simon Chaquette, 7 Action News.